And let's begin. Let's see what's going on. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We might have an unstable connection with a water sign. And uh, at this point, they might not be the safety net you want them to be. King of Cups, Queen of Swords, they went cold on us. Or maybe that is somebody interfering. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody is interfering. Or maybe they went all cold on you at this time. Um, because they might have some issues to deal with. Judgment in reverse, right? A rebirth of some sort, an awakening of some sort. A rude one. Judgment in reverse, it's not an easy awakening. It's an aha moment that um, hurts, right? Might have been a bad decision they've um, made. And it looks like Five of Pentacles, Judgment in Reverse. Somebody here might have lost money. Uh, financial resources might have decided to leave you out in a cold, reject you, and it was a bad decision and now they are seeing it. Judgment in Reverse, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, a sense of rushing, a sense of... Um, I have to change this, a sense of impatience with whatever was done and can be your energy, can be theirs also. And the world, judgment in reverse and the world, definitely a lack of judgment, a bad decision in um, terminating or finishing whatever connection you guys had, putting on ice, asking to be left alone. There is another energy there, but let's see. But, oh, we love this. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, and then you show up, King of Wands in Rivers. So it might be a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, but I love this because it speaks of love and stability, Aries. You show up here, here a little bit upside down, but the energies around it, are you kidding me? A lot of stability, a lot of love, a little bit of living in the past also, but... um body mind and soul connection with someone can be someone who's stable or can be again a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and they might be at a distance at this time they might be away from you but boy they have so much love for you so past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you. The person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, um, Hierophant in reverse. Might be a type of connection in the Two of Cups. Mm. Might be one of those connections, non-traditional, right? Between people who are different, have different values, come from two different places, religion. But boy, there is so much love, Aries. You are surrounded by love. You are absolutely surrounded by love and non-traditional type of commitment uh, from people that can surprise us and, um, you know, they are just um, different. So Aries in the past, what happened? We got hurt and we got rejected. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. It happened a while ago, right? Because we started to heal in the past. We started to see... You know that we don't have to put a lot of emotions in something that is empty. Ace of Cups in reverse, an empty opportunity. And um, we got back on our feet. The Three of Swords in reverse. It is the healing card. It is the energy that shifted. We went from the pain of the Three of Swords to the awareness and uh, the understanding with the Swords, right? Uh, with the Swords energy. And, um, oh boy, Aries, they were so tormented, right? We have the Devil in Reverse and the Palace of Cups in Reverse. Somebody went cold, went toxic. Somebody tried their best, um, but then at some point it became, um, you know, the shadows just caught them, um, you know, caught up with them. Can also be a Capricorn. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, so... Um, but I kind of feel this is a connection that at some point had no point of having, or right, or uh, bringing it forward. And Palace of Cups, they did have a lot of love, right? This is a world of love, but then it all became toxic. And I kind of feel like too much love. Uh, you know, this combination of energies is when, um, you know, a healthy emotional bond becomes too much and becomes, um, you know... <coughs> 
one of those connections where we cannot breathe, right? Sorry guys, I had to, and speaking of cannot breathe, that's exactly what happened to me. Um, mutual energies between the two of you, the four of wands and uh, the lovers in reverse, and it feels like a loveless nest. Uh, four of wands is the energy of marriage, commitment and love, and the lovers in reverse, right? Um, we fell out of love and we felt rejected and there was no emotional bond in the past with this person. I kind of feel too much love again, right? We had the lovers, which speak of, um, which speaks of, of, of a true love, body, mind, and soul. Six of cups and lovers, tons of love. Uh, but then, but then it became hurtful, um, and in the process, we got hurt and we got, um, you know, empty. Well, where are we right now? We do have the King of Pentacles, and it's interesting: Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Very passionate. Very, very passionate. Might be a new person. Two of Cups. Um, two of Cups for some of you, uh, Aries, uh, living in the past, something that was very painful and having this new unconventional love. I feel that we are nurturing and loving at this point and we are on the same page. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, on the same vibe, meeting at the same frequency, plus with an extra plus, and it is the Page of Wands, right? The passionate... Uh, the passionate new beginning it has a lot of sensuality in it a lot of playfulness and coming from a place of i want to be stable but i also want to have fun now this person of yours um aries two of pentacles in reverse and the nine of cups they are not happy uh, with letting go of this connection right nine of cups is not what they want uh, and the two of pentacles in reverse is just, um, you know, abandoning this and moving, um, moving away. They are not there yet. Of course, that is a sense of emptiness with the love they had for you. But at this point and current energies, it's, um, they are not where they want to be, right? And mutual energies between the two of you, rejection and what is right at the core of the reading. Okay. I kind of feel Aries that you moved on or you are guided to move on to a connection that uh, doesn't look ordinary, right? The, the Hierophant in reverse with the Two of Cups and yourself. I feel you are guided. We do have Six of Cups, you know, sometimes it's energy of kids. Maybe maybe you are single and you connect with someone who's um, have been married and has kids or something like that. We have a lot of kids in this reading so far. <clears throat> So it's kind of interesting, right? Because this person of yours, um, you know, um, they went cold on you, but in the same time, they don't want to let you go anyways. And and right now, between the two of you, we have this energy of rejection. We have this energy of what is of scenarios in your head, in their head. Um, you know, what's going to happen if I reject them? What's going to happen if I detach? What's going to happen if I show up with somebody else, right? It does look like a lot of love with someone and passion on your side. Now, the, out the outcome of this, we do have the Palace of Swords and the Knight of Wands. And this is you. And I feel that, um, you know, we're not going to have conversations. I don't think there is much to be said to this person, um, Aries. Clearly, you have two different energies, a connection that you are coming out of. And it's not good. And, um, you know, the universe is kind of saying with the Palace of Swords is like, you know, a world of silence. What, what exactly? And you show up here and probably you don't feel like communicating with them and you have nothing left to say to them, you know. Um, there is this person, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy and the King of Swords. They want to stay committed and they want to do what's right. That's a King of Swords. Um, this is the energy of having a plan, communicating, being strategic, being uh, very analytical about finding solutions and, and um, about this partnership of yours because they want to move back to commitment, right? They've been lost for a minute. When we look at their energy, Palace of Cups, they felt empty and they, they were tempted by something else and now they are completely unhappy to let you go in contemplating and wanting to correct whatever has to be when it comes to this commitment. 
Mutual energies between the two of you, three of cups and the star Aquarius energy. I feel Aries that you want healing and they want reconciliation. That is um, actually the main energy here. And I feel I have someone you contemplate or somebody will come your way. Somebody that is not your regular commitment. It's not somebody you had a commitment in the past. And we have new energies of love and we have a connection where this person of yours, a person you've been highly committed to, highly committed to um you know they they show up here with a lot of um decisiveness of staying committed they nobody they don't want to let you go that's 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 a fact they want to reconcile they want to put all the worries to bed they are afraid that you might reject them that you might um end this and it's right to the correct reading I'm not seeing love, but I'm seeing commitment and I'm seeing a lot of love in the past. Okay. It has a sense of desperation. Um, Aries, this person of yours, a sense of desperation and wanting to shift the energies in, you know, as soon as possible. So let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do. And we do have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you might have a new bond with someone. And it's all about it is safe for you to love and it is safe for you to open up Aries. It is safe for you to love this person and it is safe to open up. We do have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path and passion. It feels like a new bond. You do have give your relationship a chance. We do have passion, religious factors, safe and getting to know each other. I feel you are guided to speak the truth and open up. And I feel it's a new situation here. But then we have give your relationship a chance, right? So maybe somebody from the past. We do for some of you that is with the six of cups. It is a connection from the past that they show up. It, they are in your energy. They are in your energy, which you know what what it means, right? It means that they never gave up on you. They are still sending energies towards you. They are still on your mind. So that's where the energies meet on the same frequency and they are on your mind, you know, and you are on there. So I feel that you do have a bond here that we need to open up to. You are told it is safe to love this person, you know. So let's see what else. Let's clarify more of this one. It's kind of on, on the person, right? The person you connect with. The person you have unfinished business with. You know, they went, they went cold on you. And now it's, you know, it's full force commitment, which is kind of interesting in terms of energies. It's like the minute they got a taste of losing you, right? They went straight back to commitment and doing what's right. They needed the shakeup. So um, Aries, we do have reparenting yourself. So you know what it means, right? Being the parent you never had, learning and unlearning um, patterns about, um, you know, relationship and family and love um, patterns that we might have. We also have self-respect, something we need to work on. It is safe for you to love, but also self-respect, right? You have to love yourself in order to love them properly or to have um, a healthy relationship with someone. We do have soulmates and yes, soulmates, we know. We started by the soulmate energy. So we know, we know you have a real strong bond with someone. We also have the Rainbow Reviver. We need to bring the spice back. We need to bring the fun back, the passion. And bottom of the deck, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. So Aries, for some of you, being in pain and afraid to lose someone, I believe we are guided towards them. And we are guided with the energy of feeling safe. Um, giving them a chance, getting to know each other while, um, you know, working on our self-respect, on our, uh, you know, means or tools to get some um, 
some spice back. I, I feel that this connection went cold and disinterested, right? And now the universe is saying, well, if we work properly, we are able to bring something back. And for some of you, really distancing yourself and opening up to a new love, even, even there, it is safe for you to love them, right? It's okay to have passion. It's okay to have a soulmate bond, but then we need to work on our self-respect and reevaluate our desires. So what do we want? I am feeling absolutely two, diff two types of energies, um, Aries. I feel that you are already one step ahead. Um, energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. We do have humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. And self-esteem, swear to God, you have twice self-respect, self-esteem. So that is, and I'm kind of surprised because an Aries is all about, um, you know, it's it's all about the, the powerful energy of the emperor. So I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others, um, Aries. This is what, this is how you activate, right? This energy by saying all through the day, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And we have tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone and compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. I feel that this person who's, in, um, who's troubled at this time and who wants to make things right, it has a strong energy of wanting to stay committed, making the changes, doing what's right to stay committed to you. I kind of feel that you are guided, right, to come from a place of tolerance, compassion, humility, gratitude. So let's have some general guidance. Let's see what else is there we need to know. And then I say goodbye to the next time. Let's see what else is there. We do have support. Your life purpose fully supports you. What else? Solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. I kind of feel that you need support or you need to ask for. We do have support and um, positive change. Bottom of the deck study. We need to ask for support and also educate ourselves on the matters that interest us, right? So reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. You do have self-esteem, self-confidence, and um, and what was the other one? Self-esteem, self-respect, and um, and confidence. So there is an Aries out there that I picked up the energy at this point and the universe is saying, come on, be confident. You are going to be good. You are going to, to do great. Um, so Aries, you know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. And as always, please take care, stay safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.